Hello, I'm Choi Jie Lu from Fudan University. Here I'm going to present my paper called Mechanical Intelligence for Prehensile Inhand Manipulation of Spatial Trajectory. Here's the outline of this presentation. First, I would like to give some definitions of some keywords. The first one is the mechanical intelligence, which is the use of mechanical and other physical properties to create robotic systems adaptable to new external situation using simple control schemes. For example, ender actuation and flexible material are some common mechanical intelligence technologies being used for robotic gripper design and performed well for grasping tasks. The second one is the definition of in-hand manipulation, which broadens the utility of the hand for not only acquiring and maintaining grasps, but also for allowing fine adjustments to the end orientation of grasp objects. Here are some existing researchers on mechanical intelligence for in-hand manipulation tasks. The left one is called GR2 Gripper. Authors replace the rigid finger pivot to a flexible material, which improves its planar in-hand rotation range. The right one is called the Roos Gripper, which equipped a five-bar linkage as a reconfigurable palm to achieve planar in-hand manipulation with a simple control scheme. Here's a demo about the helical motion. In this paper, we propose a new hand topology design for a spatial in-hand manipulation trajectory, the helical motion. This new hand topology is exemplified by a novel three-fingered, two-actuator, under-actuated rubber hand. This is the kinematic structure of the proposed helical hand. Three fingers attached to three orthogonal planes. On the right is the cat model of the hand. Three proximal joints are actuated by one motor, here labeled alpha actuator. All three distal joints are actuated by one motor, here labeled beta actuator. Here's a detailed tendon routing structure for the self-adaptive capability. The distal links are controlled individually through the differential system via tendon for irregular objects. The distal links can self-adapt to them with the help of the differential plates. We simulate the object trajectory and the actuator performance based on the kinematics of the hand structure. It shows for different size of objects. The actuator performance is similar and tend to linear, which simplifies the control scheme. We analyze the data and find the best working ratio for both actuators, which means we're using the same control scheme for all testing objects. We evaluated the hand with 12 various sizes and shapes objects with the same control scheme, which is the velocity regulation scheme. Both motors are actuated under linear speed control. The results show that the object can perform the helical motion with some arrows on rotations. We then tested the 12 objects under the maximum position control scheme. The results are not good as the previous method. In order to investigate the robustness of the design, we also tested the offset in-hand helical performance of the hand, which got the object offset to each finger. The figure shows the rotation and the translation results, which validate the design has nice adaptive capability for in-hand manipulation. Overall, the hand topology design is able to produce the spatial helical motion, and the hand topology principle is working for the in-hand manipulation analysis. The experimental errors are due to reality gap and the manufacturing errors. The differential design provides good adaptive grasping and in-hand manipulation capability on error tolerance. Those potential improvements can be ball joints fingertip design and variable helical pitch design. And thanks for listening.